Hi, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator Eric McRae. Uh, yesterday I made a vlog post where I addressed the uh, importance of creating your art first and then concerning yourself with revenue later. Uh, the priority first and foremost is to make a quality product, something that's real to you and hopefully is something that connects with others because otherwise uh, odds are the consumer, the viewer, the marketplace isn't going to respond to it. Not to say you cater to the marketplace. Uh, some things do that and they work. Uh, for example, Hollywood movies cater to a specific marketplace. The artists that create work that was created specifically for themselves in a lot of ways, but it resonated with others. Thus, people wanted to collect it and own it. And I was uh, asked uh, by a freelance group that specifically dealt with writers, um, what, how can I apply that same concept to writers? Well, I happen to have a publishing company called Giant Star Entertainment, and I write myself. I'm not as good a writer as I am a painter and an illustrator and a draftsman, but I write and I like to write fiction. And of course, I write a lot of my own uh, materials for my business. But uh, as a writer of fiction, science fiction, fantasy, so through Giant Star, we're producing graphic novels, comics, and web based uh, uh, comics. Um, and then some of these characters, like Captain Mojo, Brother Panda, uh, Quackar the Barbarian, some uh, all kinds of genres from westerns to pirate tales to fantasy. Uh, these things were created by myself and co-created by my uh, friend and uh, business partner, uh, Mike Wilson. Uh, also, Daryl Brown has worked with us to create characters such as uh, Charma in the Magic Circle. But the bottom line is that we have been working diligently for years to put together this content. And before you can release the great American novel or graphic novel or screenplay or whatnot for a movie or film or a, a show uh, for live theater, someone has to put pen to paper, uh, get on a word processor, that's old school there, uh, get on the computer and type up some, some brilliance. And that's, that's a commitment to time. And what I've learned as a writer is that it takes time. You have to separate yourself and find an environment conducive to creativity. So this exact same thing applies um, to your writing and to you writers out there, you journalists, you uh, biographers, uh, you know, whatever term you want to use, whether you're writing fiction or nonfiction or write for theater or film or um, short, story, short stories, novels, whatever. It's going to take time and investment and to research and development and rewrites and so forth. But at a certain point, you have this manuscript that's top notch that you feel good about that you want to have self published or seek a publishing company to print that material. Um, and you have to, on the front end, is make the art, and on the back end, you make the bucks. You got to make the big bucks uh, when you produce the right things and it gets out there and connects with others. But bottom line, first and foremost, you got to put the cart before the horse. Uh, and get out there, not put the cart before the horse, excuse me, and do things in a fashion where you create your art, then you sell the art, sell the script, print, print the, have the book published, uh, shop for someone to make your screenplay into a film, and all you uh, writers out there who are in different areas and uh, in different styles and genres understand where your market is odds are and you're going to seek those folks out but you better have something I had a friend of mine who um, had partnered with a guy and he was gung-ho jacked up pumped up he was going to get all these books uh, book deals worked out and and uh, uh, do comic cons and trade shows and all these things he's going to be all over the place marketing and selling and promoting his content and then my friend said to him, but we don't have anything to market, sell, or to promote. So, and once again, this gentleman and his enthusiasm had put the cart before the horse. Make your art, then sell the art. Pretty simple concept. Unless you're doing late commissioned works, and uh, what you would say, copywriting for marketing or for advertisement, you're going to want to, you're going to find a client, and then you're going to produce for that client. But most artists and most creatives are going to have to have something to show before someone is going to trust them and invest in them to produce for them. 
So your client base has to be confident that you are legitimate, that you're just not fly by night and you have to show somebody something concrete and real. All right. Well, hopefully that helps. And uh, you have any questions? Feel free to email me at eric at ericmcrae.com. You can send me messages through Facebook, Twitter. I'm also on Instagram and also YouTube. So just look up Eric McRae. Uh, look at McRae Studios on all, all those different uh, social media outlets and you'll find me out there. So uh, look forward to hearing from you and have a happy new year. Take care.